Hi. Hello. Everybody. Starting off with a full face today. See me in all my glory. We have something that we have to address before we get into stream today. It's a little bit unfortunate. Um, I'm going to need everybody to change into funeral attire, okay? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Froggy Crossing's iconic glasses, which unfortunately have passed away in the night <laughs> as they were rolled over in her sleep, um, allegedly by Quack. Allegedly by me. Jury's not out on that yet. Um, so I would like to say a few kind words. Dear Glasses, you were so kind to me and you served me well and you were beloved by all. Unfortunately, your time has come to an end and now I have to go reorder you on the website. I don't remember which website I ordered you off of. So everybody, it's the end of an era. They are, they are gone. <laughs> they are, they are absolutely gone. There is no glass in here and they are busted. So yeah, that sucks. Rest in peace, glasses. Uh, yeah, I don't know who rolled over them. One of us rolled over them in our sleep. I don't know how they got underneath. I have no idea. So sad sad so sad <laughs> oh thank you Michaela, for the compliments i put on the v-day nails today heck yeah hopefully they last until valentine's day so anyways we are here with the backup glasses instead but yeah very unfortunate today wally bear thank you so much for this super chat did my first build about yesterday got the froggy oh my goodness that is so exciting congratulations and mythical discoveries thank you so much for the super chat and sai sai i hope i'm saying that correctly thank you so much for the 13 months and yes rip the glasses rip the glasses hi afterglow i'm doing so good i hope you're doing good any V-Day plans? Not yet. Not yet. Not sure. Um, we usually just go out to eat somewhere. We just keep it pretty simple. So yeah. <laughs> Loved your new TikTok so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Look at Goose just like chilling. He is so chill right now. You did the Frog build bear too? You named it Sprogs. Nice. I love that. So yeah, if if you guys are glasses wearers, then you know, like, when you change, like, different, like, lens sizes, it's kind of like, it, it's, it takes a while for you to get used to it, so I'm still getting used to it, so I'm, like, a little bit, like, uh, you know, like, it's, it, I'm still adjusting, is, is the point. Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. No, thankfully, nothing like that. Um... Trust me, if I was talking about anything serious, I would give some warnings first. All It's all in, in goofy fun. Um, gonna lurk today and crochet. Obsessed with crochet now. This is definitely your fault. Got, I gotta get you into all my hobbies, Michaela. All my interests, you know? We gotta be the same person. <laughs> Pretty much. I was gonna say allegedly. I don't know I was gonna say allegedly. Um, so tired right now so sorry if i eventually leave stream early that's okay ash no worries and saturns thank you so much for being a member for six months moving soon any advice oh my goodness i have moved a couple of times we've moved like two or three times um so what i would say is a little tip that i always like to do is instead of just like packing my clothes just like in a box or something i use like clothes towels bed sheets as like padding for my dishes and stuff so that way I don't have to like use extra bubble wrap or use extra like wrapping paper for that. So it's a little weird, but I do like wrap my plates in like my t-shirts and stuff. <laughs> it works though. And Nicole, thank you so much for the super chat. So excited that you're here. And uh, Cherried Edits, uh, thank you so much for the super chat. Got the frog builds a bear. It's called Kuropi. I love it. I love it. So glad everyone's getting the froggy build of bears And Aronsons, thank you so much for being a member for seven months. Need your help, so I have a new villager in my campsite. By the way, my island is town court. Should I invite him? His name is Groucho. That's totally up to you, bestie. If you like Groucho, invite Groucho. But I think there's probably better, like, town villagers that you could get, just in my opinion. But, again, up to you. I'm gonna buy this cowboy shirt 
And we're gonna give this to one of my villagers. I don't know who, but somebody. So no, I didn't want to wear it. No! <laughs> now I'm walking out naked! No, or with no pants. It's just as bad. No. Uh, Naya, thank you so much for the super chat. And let me get caught up on these here chats. Ivy, thank you for the super chat. And Clara, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it so, so much. Um... <laughs> this is where my dad is salty. I won't learn to play magic with him, but yes, I definitely do all the other same things. So nice. <laughs> magic is a little overwhelming and it like costs money to play it. So I understand it's not getting into that one. And Kyber, thank you so much for being a member for 15 months. Have I seen the Jumbo Axolotl Build-A-Bear? I have. Oh my goodness. He is so precious and beautiful. I don't think I'll get him, but I love him so much. Love him so much. And Alex, thank you so much for being a member. And thank you so much for the compliments. I appreciate it. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Hopefully I am not. Beyond Malls, thank you so much for the super chat. So excited because my mom got me stuff from your shop. It's my best friend's birthday and mine's in 22 days. I love your vids. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for you. I hope you love it. Happy early birthday and happy birthday to your bestie. And Sarah, thank you so much for the super chat. Hope you have a good lunch break. Long live the hunt for tanky. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And Mixed Skies, thank you so much for the super chat. The craving, you know what? Since you asked. Oh no, that's... <laughs> that's the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, where's the craving? I got it. Today's craving, everybody in the chat is i'd say it's a pretty good one it's popsicles like i'm just like kind of warm today like overall so i just want like a nice refreshing popsicle i feel like that would be really delicious right now or like this fan blowing in my face would be super nice just kind of hot today and cj crossing thank you so much for the super chats you're writing a book that is so exciting i hope you have a bunch of fun with that mm -mm -mm. Yum, same here, yes. <laughs> Wrong craving. The craving is water. <laughs> I mean, we should always be craving water, like, technically, you know? My dad has a bajillion cards, so it wouldn't cost me anything. Oop. Oop. Well, it is still overwhelming a little bit. Let's get the craving out of here. Up in the corner where it belongs. Up in the timeout corner. Okay. Super hot here, too. It's just a hot day all around. What is the temperature today? It's... Oh, it's actually not that bad. Like 70 degrees. Like low 70s, but still. <laughs> it just gets hot in my room because I have like a lot of lights and I have like a lot of uh, computer tower energy. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I should probably put my pants back on, huh? Probably. Probably. So, I don't really know what we're doing today, TBH. We're just- I'm just hopping on stream and, and winging it. Um, but let's find someone to give this shirt to. I want to give someone this shirt. <gasps> it's gonna be Winnie. It's gonna be Winnie. Don't listen to Winnie. Don't listen to Winnie. I talk to them. I swear. I swear. <laughs> um, here you go, Winnie. Have this. And Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. No, because why is everyone getting so sick? Oh no, I hope that people are not getting sick. I know that the holidays is usually kind of like a sicky season, so maybe people are still recovering from that. My ex-husband had a massive amount of magic cards. Can attest to the money. He did have an awesome angel deck that beat most people. Ooh, well, because angels are probably flyers, right? So makes sense. Makes sense. All right, Winnie. Oh, Winnie, what what an improvement. Actually, I kind of maybe wanted to give her a different color, but... Oh, wow. Thanks for the baseball uniform. Thanks. Look at her! She's a little cowboy. She's so cute. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I might give other people uh, cowboy shirts, whatever it is. Just got like a pepper hair in my mouth. Rachel, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Froggy, so happy I made it for a live stream. I can finally do the hydration checks with everybody. Also, I'm crocheting a blanket and I've used 10 plus balls of yarn. Help! <laughs> Thanks for being you. Oh my goodness. Blankets are notoriously some yarn eaters, I guess is the word. They just eat up a whole bunch of yarn, but good luck with that. Um, I'm happy that you have a project to work on and that you could be here for the hydration check. 
and that girl Lynn, thank you so much for being a member for six months. Um, if you could only keep on one Squishmallow, which one would you choose and why? Oh, goodness. You know, okay, actually, that's an easy answer. I would keep my yellow belly Wendy. She's literally this one right here. This one right here, the bigger one. Or no, I think it's the other one. Or is it this one? I can't remember. It's one of those two. Tiger gave me her Wendy. Like, when I was just getting into Squishmallows, she literally gave me her own personal one. And I, like, without me even asking or saying that I wanted hers or anything, she, like, gave it to me and it was so sweet. So that one is super special to me. That was, like, the first Squishmallow that anybody ever gave me. And it was a frog. And it was my first frog Squishmallow. So I think it would definitely be that one. <laughs> and Miss No Name, thank you so much for the super chat. And Amina, thank you so much for the super chat. Binging your Leapfrog videos made me go back and play the game again. You're so motivating. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so glad. Honestly, the Leapfrog era was iconic. So I'm glad that you were enjoying it. <laughs> What is your dreamy on your island? Um, Punchy was dreamy. Punchy was the dreamy, but we thankfully got him. Thankfully. All right, so I'm thinking let's work on maybe the only section that I have left to finish. Oh, look at all these purple mumps. Wow. So we have a couple of things to think about over here, right? We have the secret beach, which I potentially want access to. Let me get these nook miles really quick. Um, we also have all the flowers to deal with. We also have... What was I going to say? My house. My house is just on the beach in a lonely little corner with no yard whatsoever. So I feel like she deserves better than that. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking that I kind of want to fix all of that in one go, kind of. Or as much as I can. So we could potentially clean up this area today. Figure out the cliff situation. Right? Um, maybe move my house over here and just see see where we go from there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much all the ideas that I have. This, I was working on it, so we have like a bit of this cliff area to work on and uh, just a lot of flowers to clean up. So let me grab a shovel and a trash can and we'll just get to work. <laughs> And Lifeform, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey Raven, any new merch coming out soon? Hopefully. Um, right now, all I have are ideas, but hopefully we will get those ideas actually done. I want to I wanna do pajama pants. That's like a thing that I just thought of today or yesterday. I wear pajama pants almost exclusively at home. Like, if I'm just chilling at home, not doing anything, I'm in PJ pants. Like, I'm in those, like, iconic blue Animal Crossing pajama pants that I'm literally always wearing. So, I was thinking I would love to make my own Froggy Crossing pajama pants. I don't know what would be on them. I have no idea yet, but that's the only idea that I have left, that I have so far that's like, yes, we're doing this. <laughs> I think it would be really fun. Pajama pants keep me alive, literally. Like, what else are you supposed to wear, you know? I would so buy froggy PJ pants. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's a great idea. Thank you. I'm glad that you like it. I'm trying to find a trash can. Please tell me that I have one. Yes. Here we go. Just gotta... Just gotta look. Having Taco Bell for dinner again? Nice. Surprisingly, today I'm not having Taco Bell. I feel like we've been eating out a little bit too much, so today we're having some frozen pizzas. At least it's not going out to eat, you know. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Suffering from tonsil surgery? Oh no! I hope that you recover quick, get to eat some ice cream, all that kind of stuff. Whatever is a part of tonsil surgery, I don't know. I've never had it. But I hope you recover and I hope you're not in too much pain. Um, Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. You should decorate your secret beach with a small coconut juice stand with fruit baskets. That would be so cute. That would be really cute. Oh my goodness. Like there's a little secret, little secret, um, oh my goodness. It's Tangy. Tangy is expanding her juice empire and she's expanding to coconut juice and she's selling on this island. <laughs> uh, I don't need to place these. I can just drop this on the floor actually. Why do I have so many trees? This is too much. Um, Shmoopy, thank you so much for the super chat. My daughter loves your videos. She says, hi, hello, but thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
I appreciate it. And Chloe's Clouds, thank you so much for the super chat. I am so happy that you got a coloring book. I hope you love it so, so much. Um, by the way, my coloring books are back in stock for anyone who missed it. I know we were talking about it last week. Um, I had someone ask for the coloring book. So they are back in stock now in case you missed it and in case you need to grab one still. They're there. They are definitely there. And Frogs for Life, thank you so much for the super chats. All right. <gasps> We have to- we have to deal with it. We do. I feel like I just did a stream doing this recently, but, you know, we have to do it again. <laughs> Unfortunately, I kind of just forget about this back area and then it becomes this, but we can just chill, have a good time, chat with each other, you know? What have you guys been up to? I- I don't even know what I've been doing, besides playing M Magic the Gathering and Animal Crossing and editing videos all the time <laughs> you should get june for your florida core island june would be really cute for florida core her little dress is like absolutely perfect full pj sets pj pants shorts and shirt that would be so cute <sighs> ollie that's a great idea making alfredo in your honor yes heck yeah <laughs> About to make spicy ramen. Ooh. Do you guys make ramen like like um TikTok ramen? I make that all the time. Like instead of like the soupy traditional like Japanese style ramen, um, I will get like the little like super cheap packets that you can get. You know the ones? And I'll just cook the noodles, but then I'll make like a sauce, but it's kind of like a it's not really like a like a saucy sauce, it's like a thick sauce. And it's just kind of like noodles with sauce. I really like it. And then I do like a hard boiled egg. It's really good. I like ramen. Me too. I'm me too. Uh, oh, what flavor of popsicles? That's a great idea. All right. Not a great idea. What am I saying? That's a great question. <laughs> what flavor of popsicles? I was obsessed with these popsicles as a kid. Oh my goodness. Okay, for, for those of you who love story times from Raven, here's one. Here's one that I can't believe I haven't remembered. So there was these popsicles that I was absolutely obsessed with as a child. I think they so I think they still make them. Hold on. Let me let me let me pull up a picture. Um because we need the visual here. And I think we've maybe talked about these before on stream, but I don't know. There are these popsicles that are shaped like crayons, right? Let me- oh, that's a Squishmallow. Hold up. They are called Scribblers. Here we go. This is what they, they look like. Um, I was obsessed with these as a child, so my mom would buy them. And, of course, we are small children. We should not be let loose on the popsicles. So she was like, okay, you can have, like, one, maybe two a day, right? Like, she would limit us on how many we would eat. Because if not, we would eat the entire package. <laughs> like, me and my siblings. So she was always making sure that, like, we didn't have too many or whatever. You know, our health. You know, all that stuff that you don't even care about as a child. But your mom is like, no. So... We were so obsessed with these, so obsessed that the only time that me and like my sister um, kind of like disobeyed our mom, because we were like pretty good kids for the most part, the only time we disobeyed our mom was after she told us we couldn't have any more of these popsicles. And me and my sister went into the freezer and we snuck popsicles and we like went behind the couch and we're like sneakily eating them. And we felt like, I don't even know the words to describe it. We were like so excited and like giddy and like mischievous because we were like, oh, we're getting more popsicles, even though mom said no. And that is the literally one and only time where we have actively gone against what my mom said because we were so obsessed with these popsicles <laughs> like the grip the chokehold that these had on us it was enough to make a goody two shoes raven like essentially break the law in in my eyes <laughs> you know because like your parents are the law or whatever but yeah i think they still make those they're really good um, but Mythical Discoveries, I will catch you later. Thank you so much for the super chat. And Artist Alley, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy early birthday. I hope you have a fantastic birthday. 
and Madeline. Thank you so much for being a top member for 15 months. 15 months, holy moly, watching with my Raven plush. I saw you hit 100k on TikTok. Congratulations. Thank you, Madeline. I appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around for so long. And Claire, thank you so much for the super chat. So glad it's Monday. I've been sad and stressed lately. This will take my mind off of it. Thank you. Also got a Pikachu Squishmallow. <gasps> Congrats. I'm so sorry that you've been sad lately. I hope that we can just bring you a little bit of joy. And I'm so excited for you for the Pikachu Squishmallow. I checked my Walmart and they had the box of the Squishmallows, but no more of the Pikachus or uh, what's the other one? Grengar? Gen Gengar. Grengar. <laughs> no more Gengars or Pikachus, unfortunately. And Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. I still eat those, lol. They're so good for what? Right? They're so good. They're so delicious. And Brenda, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Raven. I needle felted a, a sheep and it's so cute. That sounds adorable. I would love to try needle felting. Got a strawberry flip squishmallow. Ooh. I like the strawberries. I don't have a flip strawberry. I don't have that many flips, actually. But Frog Fan, thank you so much for the super chat. Got my first Squishmallow and I follow you on TikTok. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm so excited that you got a frog squishmallow. I think you know I think you know what? Everybody should have a frog squishmallow. Like they should just be given to you like when you're born, you know? Like it should just be required. <laughs> Not really. I think that would be too much. How do you even make that many squishmallows, right? I just want to I just want to be done with these flowers. I'm going to try to go kind of fast. Let me try not to get too distracted. Like, let me look at chat and, and scoop. Chat and scoop. Chat and scoop. Uh, Bob Ross, thank you so much for the super chat. Watching this with my rubber squish. Nice. The popsicles do slap so hard, right? Complimentary birth squish. <laughs> yes. Right? I mean, like, I mean, how hard could it be? We just have to have, like, billions of squishmallows, right? Millions? I don't know. Dragon Kids, thank you so much for the super chat. NGL, you gave you give off pan by vibes. Well, you you are correct. <laughs> With pan vibes, you are correct. Got a frog squish for Christmas. Congrats. I don't know why I was about to say Merry Christmas when we're literally in February. How are we how are we literally in February, by the way? By the way, why is it February? <laughs> make it like a two inch wendy yeah like maybe we could have um squish fill complimentary birth squish fill that's what we could do <laughs> it's almost march don't say that <laughs> don't say that <laughs> honeybee sure if you want to call me rave go for it okay well we have to go get a new shovel unfortunately time flies that's why raven <laughs> so true i've been good alexis i hope you guys have been good the year is already going fast literally supersonic speed too fast <laughs> too fast too furious is it just me or did 2022 zoom by i think it really did i think it was the fastest year that we've had yet the fastest year. <laughs> Imagine giving a small baby a squish fill. They wouldn't even understand the meaning behind it. But a cute idea. They get a squish fill. That's their birthday buddy. Yes. <laughs> Talking to the newborns in the hospital. Okay, so do you want Wendy, Archie, Connor, Malcolm? <laughs> Which one do you want? They're like, give me the rarest one. That would be really funny. Oh, that's true. Ollie says not the squish fills because Pepper will steal them. Imagine Pepper showing up. Oh my goodness. At the hospital and stealing all of the squish fills from the newborns. That's some Pepper behavior. That is some absolute Pepper behavior, by the way. Oh, I should probably, you know what? I'm going to buy another one just in case because I know our shovel is going to break like three more times today. Curse craving? Not sure yet. We have yet to discover it. As I always say, we don't find the curse craving. The curse craving finds us, so we just have to wait. <laughs> I 
Pepper's like the Godzilla of Squish. I guess so. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Have I seen any good Squishmallows lately? I've been busy, so I haven't been able to Squishmallow hunt. I have some Squishmallows that I need to get. Um, I saw today that there's new ones at Five Below with like the yellow frog and like the little purple bug. And somebody already found them at Five Below and said that they dropped today or not today, yesterday. And I was like, did I miss it already? Like that was so fast, but I'm not sure if they did, but I'm gonna have to double check. I haven't really been checking. <laughs> and Maya, thank you so much for the super chat. Will you ever make another Nookazon video? Um, maybe if I get like the perfect idea. It's hard to make Nookazon videos, I'll be honest, because with my like account, people know that it's me. So I feel like if I'm trying to put in an offer or something, people might choose me just because it's Froggy Crossing. And I would feel bad if like other people wanted it. And then when I open my island, I can only have so many people at a time and I get like flooded with requests on Nookazon. So it also makes it really hard to like include everybody and, and be fair. Um, so maybe if we do the Froggy Crossing undercover account, but we'll see. Perhaps. It's, it's a maybe. <laughs> get a popsicle? I wish I could get a popsicle. I don't have any popsicles. That's why they're the craving. Oh yeah, the Easter Squishmallows too. I want to get some of those, um, like the the clips and stuff. Max, thank you for reminding me. I want to get those, and there's like that lamb stackable with like little heart nose. That one is super cute, so I kind of want to get that one. Haven't gone on a squish hunt in so long. I think I'm going crazy. Oh no. I hope you can go on one soon. Try to think which other ones. There's the Hello Kitty Easter ones. I definitely think I'm gonna pick up Cinema Roll from that line. I don't know if I'll get any more, but we'll see. Oh, Sarah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I don't know what this like, what is this like super tiny little puddle? I don't know what I was doing here. This is just a whole mess. Do I have any stackables? I have a frog stackable you can see right behind me right there um aside from that no <laughs> i think oh no i have one more that's in the dryer right now but yeah i literally only have like two oh you know what speaking of this little tiny baby little puddle of water um we should probably oh we should probably drink water not be taking a screenshot um let's go ahead and do a froggy crossing hydration check it's about time so if you haven't been to a froggy crossing hydration check before let me give you the rundown we're gonna grab our beverage of choice i've got my water here with me today but if you have coffee tea whatever that works too we're gonna wait for that timer to hit 30 seconds and once it hits that 30 second mark we all take a sip together in unison all right ready let's take a sip Mm -mm -mm. delicious water delicious hydration great job everybody we did we did absolutely fantastic thank you thank you uh squish keychains attached to the birth certificate like when they become of age they get it that would be really funny <laughs> got the cutest keychains of cinema roll and Kuropi at five below they're adorable they have glitter inside too and are shaped like stars oh eden i've seen those at five below they're so cute or no i saw tiktoks of those at five below but i haven't found them in mine yet they're really cute <laughs> does orange juice count yes yes it does been a member for three months and 26 days time passes but it was all worth it I'm glad, I'm glad. Thank you, honeybee. Don't have anything to hydrate with? Next time. Next time. I try to do multiple, although I get carried away and I forget, but... We try to do multiple hydration checks so we all stay hydrated. Okay. There we go. Build-A-Bear is about to release two more frogs. Really? I've missed some of the Build-A-Bear frog drops because I just forget. Um, there was like that blue kind of like tie-dye-ish one. I really wanted that one. I didn't get it. And wasn't there like a pink tie-dye-ish one or like multicolored? I missed that one too. And I missed the Christmas one. But that one I'm not that sad about. 
for once I actually had water to drink and not like a pretzel. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gotta go now. All right, I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for joining us. Missed both Cinema World drops? No, I'm sorry. I hope you'll get it. I hope you can get it soon. Hopefully they have like a lot of stock or like a lot of like restocks for the Cinema World because I know that like everybody's trying to get that Build-A-Bear right now. <laughs> Got the pink dye one. That one is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Link's Crossing. Thank you so much for the super chat. The first hydration check I did, I didn't read the instructions. I thought we had to chug water for 30 seconds. <laughs> that is absolutely iconic. Honestly, that's so good for you. We probably should chug it for 30 seconds instead of taking one tiny sip. At least I take like tiny sips, but I, I love that. I love that. <laughs> Um, and clean, calm, collected. Thank you so much for the super chat. Love your channel. Playing Animal Crossing right now. <gasps> Thank you so much. I hope you're having fun. I'm doing the worst part of Animal Crossing right now, which is just cleaning up these flowers. But at least we get to talk to each other about squishmallows and plushies and stuff. Froggy chug check. <laughs> time to chug. Time to do a two hour stream of just me chugging water the whole time. All right. This is the bulk of it, pretty much. We are almost done, kind of. No, I know there's more up on the cliffs. I'm not gonna say we're almost done, because that's a lie. <laughs> Can you talk more about the froggy scholarship idea? Um, I would if there was any more to talk about, honestly. Right now, it's just an idea. It's just a goal that I have, and I'm just gonna try to try to make it happen. So I've already asked I've already been asking around about it and trying to figure out like how exactly the process would work of like me um, creating it, like all that kind of stuff. Oh my goodness, there's even more. Ugh, this is this is so bad. But yeah, that's that's pretty much what it is right now. It's just an idea. But I'm hoping if I like start saying the idea, then maybe the right person will hear it and then like there will be somebody who comes along and like helps me out or gives me some advice or something like that. So just putting it out there into the universe. And Sienna, hello, 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 Raiders. Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome. Hello, so glad to have you. How are you all doing today? I'm so sorry, we are doing the most boring thing ever right now. I'm trying to clean up these flowers so I can work on this cliff. Um, but hello, hello, welcome everybody. Um, what were you guys up to today in hard mode? Hey, Sienna. What, what's, what's the tea from today? Give me the, give me the lowdown. Spill the tea. <laughs> Janie Peachy, thank you so much for the super chat. Hey Raven, don't know if you remember me, but I love your content so much. I'm also a Squishmallow lover. Happy to be here. Oh my goodness, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you back. I'm so glad we just have a whole giant family of Squishmallow love in here. <laughs> Haven't watched a YouTube stream in like a year. Been watching too much Twitch. Twitch is fun. Twitch is fun. Oh, we villager hunted. Did we find anybody? Sienna, did you score anybody today? <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you for the reminder, Afterglow. If you guys would like to like the stream, I would definitely appreciate it, but also no pressure. We decorated for the first time and it was rough. <gasps> really? Do you, do you struggle, like, getting items? Is that what it is? Is it just hard to get, like, a bunch of items? I don't know if I want to clean up all of these. This, this might be too much work for me. <laughs> um, but I kind of want to open up that secret beach, so we kind of have to. Have a giant squishmallow? Good, good. Good, good. Violet was Rory 2.0. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know where to start with these. <laughs> Congrats on getting Violet the Menace off the island. I know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys for the likes. I appreciate it. The soup count for the hydration check? Oh my goodness. I suppose soup is a liquid, so I, I guess. As long as you have like a liquidy soup. Um, if it's like potato soup, I don't know. I don't know, bestie. 
found a huge Bellana at TJ Maxx. I need to check TJ Maxx. I need to. What do I mean by scholarship? So pretty much, as far as my understanding of scholarships are, uh, I, I, I didn't go to college or apply for scholarships, so I don't really know. But it's basically to help um, people who are going to school, um, mostly college, I believe. So you can apply for the scholarship and then like if you're selected, then you get money to help you go to school, to go to college. So a lot of, um, I don't know who exactly offers scholarships. There's a lot of scholarships you can apply for just to get help with going to school and stuff like that to offset some of your costs. So that's what I want to do. That's the goal is to help a froggy army go to go to college <laughs> pretty much it's pretty much what it is gotta go to sleep because it's currently 11 30 at night i will see you later marta have a good sleep have a good sleep all right let's get out the trash can where's the trash can did i leave it down here let me see. So you need to choose between buying squishmallows and educating the youth. <laughs> right? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to give up the squish. Imagine saying to go to school that you are on a froggy scholarship. Right? That would be iconic. I I wonder if I can call it like the froggy scholarship. The the froggy sh the froggy ship. I don't know. Again, it's just an idea. I don't really know, like, the behind-the-scenes stuff of it. I don't really know how it works, but it's an idea, and we'll, we'll, we'll get there someday. We'll get there someday. Sweet Evie, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing in on this wonderful day. I promise we'll be done with the flowers in a moment, and we can actually get to doing stuff. Um, I'm just going to finish this cliff area, and then I'm going to work on trying to make the secret beach like s accessible in some way do like a little path or something i don't really know we'll see Fro a, fro a froggy ship scholar the froggy ship yes <laughs> something like that a froggy ship at ribbit university iconic should we just should we just make a school should i just open up a, a froggy school where we all learn to be frogs Maybe that's a better use of my time. Forget the scholarship. Let's open up a whole school. <laughs> First class of the day. Um, how to catch flies. Second class of the day. Um, how to ho properly hop long distances. <laughs> we just had like a whole obstacle course and everybody has to like hop around on all fours. <laughs> the chaos. <laughs> Paul, thank you so much for being a member for three months. I really appreciate it. I have a feeling it might need to go through the school board district. Potentially. I'm sure there's like some stuff I gotta probably apply for or something. We'll see, but I, I am gonna figure it out. I wanna get that off the ground. Henry School from Leapfrog, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got a scholarship for my master's and was honestly life-changing. The only reason I was able to do a master's degree. Well, that's really iconic. See, that's... That just goes to show... I don't know why I said iconic. Sorry. <laughs> it just goes to show, like, how helpful stuff like that can be, you know? So, I want to help. I want to help. I want to use the froggy... Frogginess and help. If graduation isn't froggy chairs, I would riot, right? All of the, all of the seats in all of the classrooms are just froggy chairs. <laughs> how to shove your squishmallows in a small space. Ah, yes. Imagine the certificate for the scholarship has a little froggy and raven symbol on it. <gasps> that would be so cute. I'm going to see how much I can get away with, with like the froggy vibes for it. That would be so fun. Can we have a class where we learn to do the ribbit thing? Yes, we can. We can. <laughs> I'm going to university right now. I really depend on scholarships as well. My parents are able to help me financially, so they definitely are life changing. It's the reason why I'm even going. I'm really glad that you're able to have those scholarships and I'm glad you're able to go. Um, they're definitely there to help people who need it the most. So I'm really glad to hear that. And that really makes me excited for mine when it hopefully, hopefully happens <laughs> that I can just help 
people go to school. Go to class. I'll start making um, the uniforms. I'm going to crochet every single uniform. So it may take me a, a few years. Depends on how many people we have enrolled in the froggy school, but we're going to we're going to crochet these uniforms. I don't know what they're going to be yet. Still workshop and ideas. <laughs> Isn't there a game called Leapfrog where you hop over someone? The school teaches that so people learn how to play it properly. Yes, absolutely. Leapfrog at recess is the only acceptable uh, game you can play. <laughs> Rip your hands. I know. I know. How to rib it like a scholar. Yes. <laughs> and wallet, right? All the yard I would have to buy. Imagine saying I'm here because of Raven. That would warm my heart so much. Got a scholarship for camp for my uni? That's awesome. Students must use leap pads. Yes, like the learning leap pads. We don't use iPads or anything. We use those learning leap pads. You guys know the ones I'm talking about? With like the little pen and you like touch it to the pages. Oh my goodness. That would be so funny. I love our froggy school already. It's a great idea. Okay, let's, let's get rid of these. There we go. May I help you crochet the uniform? Sure. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> yes, love those. In order to get the scholarship, you have to write about the how bread tags have changed your life. <laughs> oh, imagine, imagine. But then imagine if other people see it who don't know about the bread tags. They're just like, what? Okay. Oh my goodness. Ah! My phone. I, it just fell on the floor. That's all right. I didn't need it anyways. How to drink hot dog water. Yes. Absolutely. Actually, I don't know if I want to subject everyone to that. It was it was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh, Mikey has a better idea. Instead of detention, you have to drink a cup of hot dog water. I think that's, you know, that's, that's more like it. That's more like it. <laughs> I will begin my bread tag essay today. I expect Times New Roman, 12 point font, double spaced, okay? Or else. <laughs> and uh, every emoji, every, every single page has to be numbered with froggy emojis instead of numbers. So instead of page one, it's just one froggy emoji. Instead of page two, it's two froggy emojis. You get the ideas. You get the gist. The school logo is just going to be like a big bread tag with like a little frog or it's a bread tag with a little frog on the bread tag, like a froggy head. That's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> Absolutely. Not the MLA format. <laughs> Alfredo cooking classes. Yes. And we have, um, we have boba restaurants or like cafes, boba cafes on campus. Okay. So you can get boba. And we do have a cafeteria that only serves chicken alfredo. Okay. Pretty much. We have a school mascot. Giant giant frog costume. And um, carries around a giant bread tag. That's it. Yep. And then we have a cheerleading team. Who they, they make a bread tag formation. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's all they do. They don't know how to how to cheer or anything. They just make a bread tag formation. <laughs> what if you're lactose intolerant and can't have chicken alfredo? We will have options. We will have dairy-free chicken alfredo. We will have vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free chicken alfredo. We will just have all the variations so everyone can have chicken alfredo. Um, somehow, we will make it work. <laughs> Since that's all we serve, it should be fine anyways. Peach and Pepper as the mascots. Actually, I, I do love Peach and Pepper as the potential mascots. The logo should be a bread tag, but the cutout is a frog. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's that's the perfect idea. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, this is the last of the flowers I'm going to mess with right now. Now I'm going to do the little secret beach. So I think we're going to have to mess with the cliffs a little bit. 
Um, I think I want to do a ramp down here. Hello? I want to do a ramp. Um, incline? Incline. Going down here to the secret beach. So we'll work on that. Let me just fire up ye old island designer. How old do you need to be to be a teacher at the school? Um, you have to be a frog. You have to be at least an 18 year old frog. <laughs> I had a squish hunt class, yes. And Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. Been here since 10k and on your first Pelican Bay live. I haven't been a member on this though. Is it worth it? Love you, by the way. Oh my goodness, Ava, thank you so much for being here for so long. I appreciate it. Um, if you would like to become a member, that is all up to you. It's definitely no pressure. You get your little um, froggy chair emoji next to your name and you get access to the custom froggy crossing emoji so it's up to you if you value that but definitely no pressure i just appreciate you guys being here and just watching it and chilling with me and vicky thank you so much for the super chat hey raven my second stream i'm attending yay how are you our pepper beach in the room with you also my island has been taken over by flowers i feel you with the flowers a hundred percent um i've been doing good peach is in the room with me but pepper is not Usually when I'm streaming, Peach is here with me because she generally sleeps in my office on my little piece of furniture that's like next to me on this side during this time. So she's usually in here, but Pepper is not. He is not. But if they wake up and they um, are not asleep, then I'll, I'll get Peach. I'll show you guys Peach. <laughs> Students are referred to as tadpoles. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Why didn't Nintendo give us the option to erase entire cliffs? I know, right? I know. I wish. The best student for each class to get rewarded with a squishmallow of their choice? You know, yes. Yes. Absolutely. I want to go to froggy school, man. Real school, ain't it? <laughs> Tad pupils. <gasps> yes. Tad pupils. Oh no. I need to get this fossil. Hold on. Stream tax, please. We need to see the beans. I, I don't want to wake her up. Poor baby. But if she wakes up, I promise I will show the beans. Can we get a peach can for stream soon? The way That way you don't have to bother her. Oh wait, you know what I can do? I could potentially do it. Hold on. I can use the same thing that I did for my coloring book. Eh. We can see if we can do that. I don't know if I can set it up while I'm streaming, but we'll see. We'll see if this works. Uh, this. Uh, Afterglow, thank you so much for the super or for being a member for 26 months. No pressure, but it's definitely worth it. Raven is the kindest, of sweetest soul. Deserves all the chicken alfredo and squishmallows. So thank you, Afterglow. You are so sweet. I I appreciate you so much. Um, does this work on my phone right now? I don't remember how to set this up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, no, you know what? I think I have it on my other phone. Settings. Okay. Well, I have the idea. Okay, I don't think I can set it up while I'm streaming. But we have the idea. I think we can I think we can do it for next stream for sure. We can get that peach stream. And it's so easy because she just sleeps in the same spot. Oh, that was a big yawn. She is so cute. She is so cute. Okay. Let's finish this. I am excited for that. C Kitty cam. But then I cannot let Pepper in here because he is so mean to Peach sometimes when she is sleeping on that little section. He will literally just go kick her off for no reason. And then if I let him in here, you guys are going to see them. You guys are going to see them throw down. You're going to see him be a bully. Do all subscribers get to join the school? Yes. 
absolutely. I'm late. Why are there holes? We were um, working on picking up some of the flowers. Morning every day are hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army. Absolutely. <laughs> the morning announcements. We should have boba cooking classes. Yes. Boba cooking classes, Alfredo cooking classes. Um, what else? Soup. Soup time every single day. Soup time every single day. Um, daily routine every single day. <laughs> pretty much. That would be pretty much it. Should I try Taki mac and cheese? I've heard it's good. Ooh. If you want to, I would say so. I haven't had Takis before, actually. Alright, this is progress. This is progress. <laughs> progress. Or, sorry. I don't know what that word means. I mean, progress. This is progress. <laughs> Final exam is a 30 day challenge. <gasps> Okay, if you had to do a 30-day challenge as your final exam, do you guys think you would pass? I don't even know if I would pass. That would be so difficult. I was having to memorize the daily routine speech, and we could literally regrow a whole forest if we plant a tree every day for the whole school year. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> no progress. Hopefully, hopefully, IDK. <laughs> Everyone gets a progress report. Yes, the progress report. No, I'm terrible at staying focused. I would give up after a week. Oh no. <laughs> I could never. I get so bored after like an hour in this game because I have zero creativity. And all I know how to do is copy. Oh no. <laughs> I would just forget. <laughs> I guess it depends on what the challenge for 30 days was, I guess. That's true. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I take that exam over linear equations. <laughs> Honestly, me too. I don't even know what a linear equation is. Uh, Vicky, thank you so much for the super chat. Can you tell us how you became Peach and Pepper's mom? How long have you had them for? Their temperament reminded me of my cat as I had as a child. Love them. Aw, I'm so glad to hear that, Vicky. Um, yes, I will tell you the story in just a moment. Let me just read the super chat so I don't forget it. Jenny, thank you for the super chat. After my current island, I want to try to do a 90-day one. That would be really fun. Um, but Vicky, back to your question. So pretty much... I guess this is a story time, technically. Pepper, um, we had a friend who um, was pretty much getting rid of cats that are like not really a friend, but like a friend of a friend of a friend type of thing, um, who was trying to like rehome her cats. Um, she had like too many, I think. I think it was. I forget, but we essentially had like a friend, like a connection that was like, um, getting rid of cats so i had actually um babysat pepper and the other cats a few times like maybe once like just came to like um check on him and, and like feed them and, and do the water and stuff so i kind of already knew how pepper was a little bit so then we heard that they were trying to rehome them and we were like well, we like Pepper. <laughs> so we almost chose the other cat that was getting rehomed, which was Pepper's brother. But we didn't, but we chose Pepper. So then we pretty much took Pepper. And I forget how long we've had Pepper for. It's been a couple of years. I mean, I've had him since I started doing YouTube. So that was definitely 2020. Um, I would say I think we got him... That August before 2020, or the September before 2020, so in 2019, I think. Yeah, so we've had Pepper since then. And then Peach, Peach was much more, um, I don't know, like cute, I guess, because she like really connected with me. Pretty much we just went into Petco, 
to I forget what get cat food for Pepper or something. So Peko, at least the one like by me or the one that I had gone to at that time had like the little like the little cages where they have the cats in but it wasn't by petco it was like cats that were like it was like in association with like um what is it called like it's not a shelter but like another like little organization that that their whole thing is to like rehome pets pretty much so they were in there and there was i think it was only peach yeah it was only peach in there in like the poor like little cage that they have in the Pecos and I saw her and she was so sweet and there was a sign okay don't don't tell them that I did this there was a sign to don't touch the glass but I kind of put my hand on the glass okay like just hovered it a little bit I put my hand on the glass and Peach picked up her paw and my hand was on the glass and she put her paw like where my hand was and after that moment I was like we have to have this cat <laughs> So we went through the whole like adoption process with like the organization and everything and we just got peach yeah and she was ju she was just perfect she was just perfect like we didn't know how she was we didn't know her temperament we didn't know if she would get along with pepper and they just happened to just get along perfectly and be besties so it worked out really good i feel like both of the cats came into our lives at like the perfect moments and it was just like totally meant to be for both for both of them yeah, it was it was very sweet. It was a very sweet moment. Like, I mean, you can't tell me that if a cat did that to you, you wouldn't be like, I need this cat right now. <laughs> so Pepper was free because we just, you know, like got him rehomed. But Peach, we did have to pay for. There was like an adoption fee. It was like $40 or something. But it was so cute. <laughs> Can we call Pepper's brother Ch uh, Chile? Pepper's brother is actually named Ginger. And he looks like Peach, but a boy. And Ava, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, what has been your favorite island theme to work on? Honestly, I would say Kidcore has been my favorite so far. I mean, I really love Farmcore, don't get me wrong. But Kidcore was just like peak Froggy Crossing. Um, it was really, really fun. I just feel like the colors, the aesthetic, everything was just so, so fun and so me. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, that was so cute. Aww. <laughs> so awesome when animals get along i know we were worried about our cats charlie who was a single cat at the time interacting with our new dog milo but he interacted with him great oh that's so good i'm so excited or not excited i'm so so glad to hear that um but yeah another thing was they they told us that peach like the people who surrendered her um peach had had babies and they kept the babies and like surrendered peach and that made me so sad to hear, like, she just has little kittens and then they just, like, totally, like, drop her and forget about her and just, like, surrender her to, like, a shelter. Like, that made me so sad. And she was so young. She was only, like, a year old when she had the babies because we got her when she was two. So she was only, like, a year old. I was like, oh my goodness, this poor little kitty. Um, Is Pepper more of Quacks and Peach is more yours? Like, cats definitely have a person. I would say yes. Um, in the sense of, like, Peach is definitely a little more attached to me, and Pepper's definitely a little more attached to Quack, but it's not like they're, like, only, Pepper's only Quacks and Peach is only mine. Like, they, both cats interact with both of us, but, like, Pepper does not let me, or does not do, like, kisses with me. Like, Quack will go, Pepper kisses, and do, like... And then Pepper will shove his forehead against Quack's mouth for kisses. And if I try to do it, Pepper just, like, ignores me. Like, he does not do it with me, and it's so funny. And then Peach, like, lays on my lap more, pretty much. Um, but honestly, I don't know. Thank you so much for the super chat. Maybe a froggy petting zoo, a new shirt and shop. Ooh. Potentially. So saddening to hear, but that happens a lot with cat mamas who have litters. Usually they'll keep the kittens because they're newborns to get rid of the mother. It is so sad. Like, Peach didn't deserve that. But, yeah. Yeah, her name when she was in the, in the, like, the little Petco cage thingy was Flannery. It was so funny. We were talking about that last stream. <laughs> um, anyways, let me try to focus on this. I'm getting so distracted. You guys ask me cat questions and I can't resist. 
cannot resist. I don't think we can make this be centered, unfortunately. Right? Is that centered? I don't know. I'm gonna get rid of more of this cliff. Eh. Lloyd, please. Lloyd, please. <laughs> That's what I meant. Like, both of my cats like me, but Hazel is attached to me for sure. Yeah, definitely. Kitties have, like, their own own little person. I get you, I get you. But yeah. I'm glad we got Peach. She's a sweetie. So, like, I feel like both cats, like I said, came to us at a really good time. And it just kind of happened. Like, we weren't necessarily, like, oh, we want to go adopt a cat. So, if we ever get another one, um, I feel like they'll just come to us in the same way. So I'm not specifically looking for a third cat, like we're, we probably won't ever go like look at shelters or anything, but it'll just happen if it's meant to be. <laughs> okay, I mean, actually I think that's centered. I think. I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but something, something, something. I have two cats, Willow and Ivy. Ivy has been my cat since day one. Aww. I love those names. Those are so sweet. Okay, there is water. That's that's an issue. That's definitely an issue. Okay. I don't... Like the title says, I don't really know what we're doing here. I want to put my house somewhere. I want to have the secret beach be open for use by my villagers. But yeah, I don't really know. Okay, actually, I don't want to go this far. Because which pond is this? Is this the one that's right behind? Eh. All the holes, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is right by the chicken coop, right? Yes, I didn't have to go all the way around. But speaking of the pond, I suppose everyone looks pretty thirsty, so let's go ahead and do a froggy crossing hydration check second one of the day i hope you guys got some water if you don't have your water i hope you got some water so if you haven't it's a bit to wonder if you missed the first one if you need a refresher like water is really refresh okay anyway <laughs> you're gonna grab your drink of choice wait for that timer to hit 30 seconds and then we're gonna take a sip all together since everyone's so thirsty all right let's let's take an extra big sip i'm gonna take like two big sips all right ready let's go ahead Take our sips. I took three. I took three. That was good. That was good. Mm -hmm. My water is so icy cold in the Stanley Cup. It's so good. Stanley Cup, sponsor me, please. <laughs> Does marker ink count? Bestie. Bestie, no. <laughs> no. Does the stuff in lava lamps count? Um, please seek medical attention. <laughs> I feel so hydrated. I'm glad. I'm glad. Have you put stickers on your Stanley yet? I have not because I'm one of those people who never wants to use my stickers because I'm like, I don't want to waste this sticker. So who knows if I will. Plus, I'm afraid of the stickers getting like messed up. I have to buy specific stickers to put on here. That's probably what I have to do. Does nail polish count? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> Not the nail polish. Please, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I like cannot use stickers at all. Like, I just, I hoard them. I hoard them. Who changed Flannery's name to Peach? Me and Quack both wanted to change her name because we didn't really like Flannery that much. So we made like a whole list of um, P... Names that started with P. <laughs> we made a whole list of P. <laughs> we made a whole list of names that were food names that also started with um, the letter P. So, yep, that's pretty much what we did. And we almost named her Peaches. Like, Peaches plural, but that was my idea, and Quack vetoed. He was like, no, just peach singular, so, yeah. <laughs> yes, besties don't eat inedible things, please. Just water. Just water. 
You can only eat water, okay? Only eat the water. It's a really bad habit if you keep stickers, you get too attached to them. Yeah, right? I know, I get too attached. Um, where do I want to put my house? This is going to be so annoying to have my house, like, all the way back here, too. <laughs> but it'll be fine. I think maybe I want to put the house, like, right where I'm standing, potentially. That way, like... Oh my goodness, these whole... I need to... I'm going to scream. <laughs> I'm going to scream. That way we have, like, this path that's already here. And it'll kind of lead, like, right to my front door. Kind of where these holes are. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> New class at school. How to drink edible things. How to drink edible things 101. Um. Now I'm trying to think. Have I played Cookie Run Kingdom? Yes, I have. It's really fun. I do like Cookie Run a lot. Uh, I'm trying to think of what is the best move here. Should we move the house? Should we work on the secret beach? Should I work on these cliffs? Because I don't know what I'm doing with the cliffs. Or... I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. Um, I think... I think I I think I don't know what to do. Yeah. That's that's what we're that's what we're going to go with. <laughs> if you time travel tomorrow, the incline will be built and the holes will be gone. You know, Hannah, that that's a that's a good point. Let's pay off the incline. We'll time travel, get the holes out of the way, and then since the holes will be out of the way, we can kind of like try to figure out where my house is going to go pretty much. So let's do that. Also, my flowers have been spreading everywhere else, so I need to clean those up eventually. <laughs> Thankfully, on my dream address, everything is still, like, nice and clean. Secret beach, secret beach. We could work on the secret beach, too. The house thing will only take, like, a second. I literally just want to move my house. That's it. I don't want to do my yard yet. So, we could just move the house and then work on the secret beach. That way, we can figure out, like, how much space I have in between the house and the secret beach. So, I know how much stuff I can fit in near the secret feet. How many items I can shove in there, you know? Okay. Let's get some monies. I have no monies. Is this gonna be enough? This is not gonna be enough. Okay, uh, we're probably gonna have to take a little bit of a detour and get some bells, because, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is gonna be the rest of my money. I thought I had- wait, let me check one area. No, I don't think I do. I know I dropped a bag of bells recently. I think I put it, like, in front of- no hello? Peach? She's digging on my piece of furniture. Peachy, what are you doing? Okay, well, since you're awake, do you want to pay stream tax? Peach? Peachy, come here. Oh, no, she laid back down. She laid back down. I'm, I'm so sorry. We were so close. We were so close. <laughs> Peach, come on. It's stream time. Come here. Come here. Come here, you want pets? Come here. Come here. <sighs> Okay, I'll 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 get her. I'll get her. <sighs> that means I have to stand up. And I have to go get her. One second, okay? Squish my little go on the floor. Peachy. You are so good. You are such a good peach. Eh. Okay. You're such a good feed. <laughs> Aw, poor baby. You don't like all the lights, do you? Come on, you got this. We practice. We practice. Hello, my name is Peach. Today I'm going to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> what are we looking at? Nothing in particular? Peach is a fashionista. 
She's gonna, oh, you know what? Yeah, she is a fashionista. I'm gonna give her some little froggy, my little froggy earrings. Come on, Peach. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, you get the gist. She doesn't want to be in my lap anymore. You may go. Go. Goodbye. She's just, she's just standing on my armchair, on the arm of my chair. <laughs> How long did it take her to learn her name? I don't know. Um, I don't entirely know if she actually knows it, to be honest. <laughs> Eden, thank you so much for the super chat. I can come, or for being a member. Sorry, oh my goodness. I can come help give you some bells if you need. I recently got a lot from a giveaway. There's no way I can use all of them. Aw, Eden, I appreciate it so much. It's okay, I, got, I gotta work hard for my bells. I gotta learn, you know? I gotta learn good bell management. Otherwise, I'll never learn my lesson and I'll always be out of bells. But I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now she's licking herself, which is how you know that she was so offended by me grabbing her. Okay, let's see. Do I have any sneaky stacks of gold that I could sell? No. No, I don't. Um, I have some Nook Miles. Could sell some of those. I have more. Let me check. I think I put them by that, like, plot that was down here on the beach. Let's see. Should make your front yard a little farmer's market. That would be so cute. Okay, yes, we have more tickies. Whatever, we'll just sell the tickies. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Hattie, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Oh, the fossils. I should have done the fossils. Oh, well. Check if you need that, because last time I checked, you only needed 90k. It's okay. I'll just sell them anyways, because all I have in my hand right now is 90k, so I'm going to need bells, like, after that anyways. Hi, Maggie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm offering you the deal of a lifetime, good sirs. So many Nook Mile tickets for you. Oh. Nook Mile tickets are that- they sell for that much? Since when were Nook Mile tickets so valuable, bell-wise? Am I just dumb? <laughs> that was almost a million bells. <laughs> okay, I think we're set. I think we're set. I do not remember them being so expensive. 10k each? Oh. Huh. Okay then. <laughs> uh, Scoot or Tad? I would have to say Tad. Yeah, so I guess if you have, like, a lot of extra Nook Mile tickets, you could sell them, but, um, if you desperately need bells. Oh, you know what else I could have done? Can't you also convert, uh, Pokey to bells? Right? On Happy Home Paradise? I think you have to unlock it at some point. I don't know if I have it unlocked on this save file, actually, so... I probably couldn't have anyways. Alrighty. Sunshine Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You should pay someone to make you an IRL froggy gaming chair. I would love that. Um, like a uh, froggy chair gaming chair. I wanted to make a video, I had a video idea to make my own like DIY froggy chair, but I could not figure out how to like actually do it. Like make an actual chair, like I think I need like power tools to do that. <laughs> and like wood or something. But if I ever figure it out, I'll make the video. I promise, because I would like a froggy chair. But yeah, I think I need like a saw and stuff, I don't know. Chair making things. Not me eating my fifth popsicle. <laughs> ah, the cursed cra- We still haven't figured out the cursed craving. 
Weren't you gonna move your house? Yeah, but I'm trying to get rid of all the holes on the ground first. <laughs> Ugh, I have this bug bite on my wrist. Can you see it? Eh, I this is like the most awkward position. Right there. Eh. I don't know why it's such a big deal that I show you, but it's been like the itchiest thing ever. I don't know what bit me, but whatever it is, it's got like some powerful little venom. I hope it wasn't a spider, otherwise I scream. Oh, okay, another story time. Oh my goodness, this this one is so funny. This one happened on the weekend. Okay, so I don't know if- it, okay, please tell me that other people think about this. Please tell me other people think about this. I imagine sometimes if I was in a horror movie or if I was getting like chased or something, right? Oh my goodness, of course we have a campsite villager. Okay, we'll check. I always think about would I actually scream? Because like if I try to scream right now, like, nothing comes out. Like, I don't do a scream, right? It, like, it, like, gets stuck. I don't know if anybody else is like that. I can't scream on command, like, an actual scream. So, since I haven't had a reason to, like, scream, scream in, like, years, I've always thought to myself, like, what if I just can't scream anymore? What if I'm getting chased by an axe murderer and, like, I can't scream and nothing comes out, right? That's my thought process. Like, occasionally I think about this, okay? I just discovered over the weekend that I can actually scream <laughs> because something happened. <laughs> okay, so, um, our shower, it has, like, the regular shower head, and then it has, like, a detachable, like, little sprayer, right? Like, I use it to, like, spray my hair and whatever. So, the little holder for the detachable shower sprayer head came off of like the shower wall so the sprayer just hangs like loose directly from the shower head right okay there's also a little like um switch on the top to like switch it from the main shower head to the handle little shower head so <laughs> i always remember to switch it back to the main shower head when i'm finished taking a shower or when i'm finished using it but over the weekend quack did not remember to switch it back okay so I go to take a shower and I open the door and I turn on the shower and normally it comes out of the giant shower head but since he forgot to switch it off the water comes out of the shower head but since it's not attached to the wall like it's just hanging loose it starts spraying everywhere and it literally sprays me directly in the face like with water like I turn on the shower and I get sprayed in the face immediately and I screamed I screamed so loud because like it sprayed water directly in my face. Like, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> and it was so unexpected. Like, I just did not expect the shower to spray me directly in the face. So I literally screamed at the top of my lungs. And then I, like, slammed the door shut. And the sprayer is going crazy in the shower like this. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so thankfully, it kind of started spraying against one wall and was kind of, like, holding it in place so then i was able to open the door and like grab it and then like quack came running and he was like what happened what happened like you screamed like because he's never heard me scream and i'm like you forgot to switch the sprayer off and he's like i'm sorry and i was like yeah it sprayed me directly in the face and i'm like dripping with water <laughs> so I discovered over the weekend that if I am getting chased by a serial killer or something, like, I will be able to scream. So that was reassuring, you know. It was a little bit reassuring, even though I had to get sprayed in the face with water to learn that information. But <sighs> that's that's the story of the, my scream over the weekend. <laughs> Not the swear having its own dance party in there. It was literally doing that. It was, like, literally like this everywhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Thankfully it was nothing bad. It was just water. So yeah, anyways, let's see who this campsite villager is. <laughs> oh. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. Oh, it's Agnes. Hey. She's so cute. I would I would totally invite her for the Farmcore Islands. Oh goodness. At least you don't have to shower now from that. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I'm an actress, so screaming was always a huge how for me, but I never needed to scream on stage. I feel like if I had to, I, I wouldn't be able to. Like, I can't just do it on demand. <laughs> Water jump scare, literally. It was. Winnie, where's your shirt that we gave you? Bestie. She's not wearing my beautiful gift. Now, what is this? I'm just gonna move past this. Ridiculous. Oh, let's, um... Let's get my house. Let's get my house. Let's move it. Next time, record it for views. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to happen. <laughs> How do you get such cute campers? Oh, I got stuck with Klaus. That's a few. That's the that's the first cute camper I've had in a while, honestly. Punchy being punchy, literally. <laughs> Possessed shower trying to make you scream. <laughs> Yeah, and the water is always freezing at the start too. L kinetic crossing, literally. Sprayed in the face with freezing cold water. Yep. And like, since I was about to shower, I took my glasses off. So like, I didn't even have like a shield. It was just like the worst. The absolute worst. <laughs> Hi, Awoke. Welcome. Um, We have honestly not made that much progress. You haven't missed that much. You, we did um, a little bit of flower cleanup. We put a ramp. We worked on some cliffs. We've been telling a lot of stories. Uh, now I'm moving my house and we're going to work on the secret beach next. Pretty much. Just got Wendy. <gasps> Yay, I'm so excited. Honeydew, congratulations. Do you have Cheesecake Factory in Florida? Yes. Yes. I haven't been to Cheesecake Factory actually in a long time. Like in a couple years. Oh my goodness, Ponchi. <laughs> so rude. Did a villager hunt today and got Tia on my fifth ticket. <gasps> Do you like her? Yes, I love Tia. I had Tia on my very first island. I paired up her and Meringue and they had like a little... um. A little cafe together it was really cute all right besties the holes are gone <laughs> me time traveling just to get rid of the holes okay so let's fill in some of this water and i'm gonna put my house all the way back here i guess i have a trade proposal full scribblers for peach and or pepper sure <laughs> Going there for Valentine's Day with my boyfriend this year. We got the gift cards for my family. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited for you. What do you usually get after Glow? Do you get the cheesecake? Do you get... I don't... What are they... Cheesecake Factory has like a giant menu, don't they? I know that they have orange chicken. And pasta. They have to have like burgers. They have to. What's like, what's like the Cheesecake Factory special besides cheesecake? Or is that just the special? <laughs> Am I decorating all of the beaches or just the secret beach? Probably just the secret beach since I have taken an hour and a half to do this. Um, that's probably all we're going to be able to get to. <laughs> Ironically, I never got cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Same because I'm not really like a cheesecake person. So... It feels like almost illegal to go to Cheesecake Factory and not get the cheesecake, but they're also like ginormous slices, so I just know I wouldn't be able to finish it anyways. Um, you know, we actually have a ton of space in between the secret beach and where I want to put my house, kind of, so we'll just do like this path and it'll be kind of at an angle and then my house will be like right here. Let's do this. Should I move here? Let's imagine. Hi, Jordan. Welcome. You have missed our first two hydration checks, but never fear. There will most likely be more. The bread is stunning. Oh, yes, the bread. I forgot about the bread. That is so good. Um, I guess this is fine. This is fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think there's enough space for trees. 
I think you can put them right there, I think. I hope so. Sick but still made it to the stream. Oh, Emily, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry you're sick. Try their bread text. Buy Cheesecake Factory bread from like the grocery store and like eat the bread tag off of it. Yummy. <laughs> okay, so this water, I'm not really gonna deal with it right now, but it does lead to this waterfall. So I probably wanna keep this like a little bit of a pond type of thing. So I'll probably have a pond kind of like right by my house, most likely. Cursed Craving is showerhead. <laughs> Cursed Craving is showerhead water. <laughs> the water that was all over my face has probably wet in my mouth a little bit. That's the Cursed Craving. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let me not work on this right now because I'm going to get so distracted. Sweet corn tamale cakes. It's an appetizer. It's so good. And yes, the cheesecake for sure. But I'd love to get the bowl of strawberries with whipped cream. It's at the bottom of the menu. Oh, I haven't heard of that. You know, next time I'm go I go, I'm going to look for that. Because I love me some strawberries and whipped cream. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so for the secret beach, I'm going to grab some items. We're gonna try to do as much as we can. We got about 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. Did anyone else drink shower water as a kid from the shower head because you were just silly like that when you were little? <laughs> I probably did, honestly. I can't remember like off the top of my head, but I I probably did. That's that's probably some classic Raven behavior. <laughs> okay. Um Let's get this. Let's get this. I don't know. Do I want to make it like piratey themed? Do we want to have a bit of a marina kind of moment? Not marina the villager, but like a... Like where the boats are, you know? Peach. Peach has her paw on my slipper right now. And it looks like she's wearing my slipper. <laughs> oh, she's so funny. Peach, you're so silly. You are so silly. Honestly, I don't have, like, that many items. Hmm. A friendly neighborhood taco. Tell me why Red and Tom are, like, the most evil. <laughs> Honestly, Tom, I feel like we, we give him too much, too much flack. He's been, he's nice, you know? He doesn't give us a due date for our loans, which is very nice of him. The secret peach. Um, but Red, you know, he he does sell counterfeit artwork, so I don't I can't really justify <laughs> or defend him in that. So uh let's do some of this stuff. I suppose. Fire hydrants. Do I have like a little bucket? No. Another fish container. Okay, we can we can do something. Oh wait, let me get fencing. Let me get fencing. We're probably going to have to pop over to Harve super quick just so I can change the colors of some of these. Uh, you know what would be cute? The rope fencing. I don't have any of that. Peach, Peach just went back on her little sleepy area. Flatting my island once I finished. I saw Rocket with a thought bubble. Best day ever. Best day ever. That's like if I saw... Violet with a thought bubble after flattening, even though I wouldn't be flattening this island, but you know. And I don't have the rope fencing DIY. That sucks. Let's go see if it's in nooks. If not, then oh well. We'll use something else. Sunshine Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat, and I super appreciate the love, and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Tom Nook doesn't give a due date because he knows the fees would take a lifetime to make IRL. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Just got stuck by a wasp. IRL or an animal crossing? I've never been stung by a bee or a wasp. Oh, pole idea, pole idea. Have you ever been stung by a bee or wasp? I have never been stung. Thankfully, but I'm curious. What's the percentage of people who have been stung 
Hopefully not a lot. I hope, I hope not. Aubrey, oh, I'm so glad I could get you back into improving your island. I'm so happy about that. I'm glad to inspire. IDK, why I just love polls on stream. I got stung by a bee when I down when I went down the slide in my butt as a kid. <gasps> that would be the most traumatizing thing. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Stung by a hornet? Oh. Not the hornets. Not the hornets. Allergic to bees. Every time I get stung, it worsens my allergies. <gasps> that sucks. That sucks a lot. 1k likes. Yes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I never have, but my mom is deathly allergic, so I've always been scared of them. I understand, I understand. Got stung by a jellyfish? Oh. I feel like that's more, like, rare. Okay, we have country fence and this fence, so no. No rope fence. Got stung by a wasp on my foot, and then four days later it started swelling up, and I was like, question mark? I would also be super confused, like, what? Been stung by bees twice? No. So far, 58% say yes. So almost 60% of people in here have been stung. I got stung by a wasp. It got stuck in my hair and I touched it. My hand got so red and swelled. <gasps> no, Desiree. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> a bee landed on my hot dog from Costco and now I don't like them anymore. Not the bees ruining the Costco hot dogs for you. That is so rude. I love the Costco hot dogs. There's the Costco food court is so good. If you guys haven't been, I would recommend it. I think they let you in the food court without a food without the Costco card. It's really good. I'm just gonna time travel to see if I can get that rope fencing in my what's it called? Nook stop. Mm -mm. Hattie, thank you so much for the super chat. One of my friends accidentally hit a wasp nest. I would be so terrified. I would literally just sprint. I would sprint. <laughs> I assume that Costco food would be bad. It's not bad. It's it's like it like it like hits, you know, like it's not gourmet. It's like a dollar fifty hot dog. But it, it hits. It's good. I feel like at least when I had the pizza years and years ago, the pizza was really good. Like, it was, like, really cheesy and had, like, stretchy cheese. It was really good. Like, it was definitely better than um, Little Caesars and stuff like that. What does Costco have? What food does Costco have? I've never been to the U.S. Um, so Costco is, like, a warehouse, like store where you can buy all kinds of stuff like food and like appliances tvs it's kind of like an extra large walmart i guess but the thing is that they sell everything in bulk and you have to pay for a membership to be able to shop there but they have a food court so in the food court they have like hot dogs um i know they what else do they have they have the pizza they have like salads i haven't been in such a long time um, they also have, like, ice cream. It's pretty good. Costco slays, yeah. Costco does slay. Okay, now this is gonna be my run every single time I play Animal Crossing. I have to run all through the neighborhood, through the big farm, across the bridge, and up the path to get to my shops and stuff. This might become annoying. <laughs> but it should be fine. Hi, Tad. Bye, Tad. Two days in a row, Punchy. We're not on speaking terms. We're not on speaking terms right now. Oh yeah, the chicken bake. I never had the chicken bake. Sam's Club has Sundays? Ooh. You know what? You're so right. I should use a pipe. Barbecue sandwiches. Yeah, I the, the pipe is, is a good idea. I should probably do that. Okay, let's see if we have the rope fence. Barbed wire and imperial. Nope. That sucks. Okay, it's fine. I won't waste any more time on it. Let's go to reds. Let's 
customize these items quickly and then we'll start placing and decorating. Does Costco have pasta in their food court? I don't think so. It's been a while since I've been, so I can't really remember. Never been to Costco. It's it's nice. I don't really go to stores like that, like Costco, Sam's Club, BJ's, because they sell things in bulk. And since it's just me and Quack, like we just don't get the f get through the food quick enough. So it just makes sense to go to like a regular grocery store for us. Stranger Things, thank you so much for the super chat. Very much appreciated. Ordered a froggy hoodie and the coloring book. It shipped and I'm excited. Desiree, yay. Thank you so much for ordering one. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you love it so much. Go on Sundays for the free samples. Yeah. Heck yeah. Favorite Florida delicacy? Um, what is a Florida delicacy? <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna look this up. What are Florida foods? Oh, key lime pie. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I do. I really do love key lime pie. So good. I found a place recently that sells like homemade key lime pie. I saw that they have it. I need to get it. Cause I don't really get homemade key lime pie that much. I am a fake Floridian and I buy it from the freezer section. <laughs> But it's still really good regardless. Okay. Why am I here again? Customizing, customizing. Okay. Focus, Raven. Focus. Finish one thing on stream today, please. Finish one thing. Okay, garbage bin? No. Lighthouse. The brown... Actually, the brown bricks is fine. I kind of like that. It's a little rustic. We'll leave the skeleton as is. Um, let's do... I like the green ones. There's a great place in the Keys. If you're ever down there, I recommend. Ooh, I bet. I mean, Key Lime Pie. Keys. I bet. Coconut cream pie is so much better. I do like coconut cream pie. Have you tried alligator before? No. I I don't I'm not that kind of flirty. <laughs> I I don't think I could I could eat alligator. I already don't really like seafood that much. So I'm okay. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna do blue for these and we'll do the little scallop. That's cute. Would you ever fight someone for the last Wendy Frog? Potentially. Alright. Gonna finish this. Uh, Fangler, thank you so much for the super chat. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Tastes like chicken nuggets. Okay. You and Lil Simsy both live in Florida. Play Animal Crossing. Your partners have duck-themed usernames. I find that crazy. That is actually a very funny coincidence. That's pretty hilarious. Rachel, thank you so much for the super chat. Have you ever seen a rocket launch off the Space Coast in Florida? They're amazing. I was just there a week ago to s and got to see one. Highly recommend it. I have not. That sounds so cool. If I'm ever around there, I would love to do that. How did you get so many bells? Um, we discovered, we rediscovered how um, much Nook Mile tickets sell for, which is a lot. I sold a couple stacks and uh, yeah, I'm loaded with bells now, so we're good. <laughs> oh my goodness, please, Joy Cons. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I think this is the last item, or there's maybe like one more. I don't even know what I'm making with these things, honestly. I'm just. Just bringing them here and gonna customize them in. Hope for the best. Oh yeah, the yacht. What color do we do? I kind of like the green and brown. 
Yeah, let's just keep it like that because it matches. Um, it matches like the thingies that we just customized. What can we put on the side is the question. Anything fun? <laughs> the bread tag. The SS bread tag. You know what? SS bread tag. <laughs> have you gotten boba recently? Yes, I have. Um, I got like a... What was it? It was like um like a bunch of fruit tea. No, not a bunch of fruits. Yes, it was like a fruity tea. And I had a bunch of cut up fruit in it and I got mango popping boba and I think I've said that I've gotten that before but it was from a different place it was a new place I tried so it was technically different it was pretty good the SS bread tag okay oh I forgot this poll is still up okay 60% of people have been stung by a beer wasp thank you for the valuable information <laughs> that I was just curious about Did I mean to get stung in Animal Crossing? No, I meant get stung IRL. IRL. And Awoke, thank you so much for being a member for 10 months. Almost a year of being a member. Very exciting. Anyways, I live in Florida as well. I was wondering if you've ever been to Perkins. The pie is good. No, I haven't. I have not. But I will keep that in mind. If I'm ever there, I'll try the pie. I will try the pie. Punchy is really trying to get on my nerves today. For real. For real, for real. Got a KK slider ornament from Hallmark for five bucks yesterday. Since when did Hallmark have, like, Animal Crossing ornaments? What? I need to check if I'm ever there, which I probably won't be. Because I don't have any close by me. Okay, let's go all the way back. This is such a walk. I need to get the pipes. <laughs> I can't do this any- I can't do this every single day. Cannot. Cannot. Okay, um, Silver Surfer, thank you so much for the super chat. I should add a porch to your house. Love you. Great idea. I do love a good porch. And that would be very, like, farm aesthetic, you know? And Fangler, thank you so much for the super chats. My sister loves your videos. Thank you so much. Thank you to both of you. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so. Let's do start up the island designer. I am so slow. We have 15 minutes. I feel like I did nothing this whole time. Thank you for hanging out with me regardless, because honestly, the Animal Crossing activities have not been that riveting. Uh, it's just like something that I- this like section is something I know that I have to get done eventually. So I was like, why not? Let's just work on it today. And it's definitely something I've been putting off because I'm like, it is boring. <laughs> so it makes it a lot better to have people with me. So thank you. Okay. Just gonna round this off and make it kind of cute so we can put stuff down here. Same over here. Do I speak any other languages? Unfortunately not. I would love to though. I really do want to learn Spanish. I feel like, I feel like that's valuable to know okay i just made this look so uneven but honestly we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it so i'm thinking the yacht can go over here somewhere so let's put down like some some custom designs for it to go on top of sprout the doggo thank you so much for the super chat hey froggy you're the best and right now i'm craving frosted flakes i haven't had frosted flakes in so long that sounds so good right now i hope you get your frosted flakes and i hope i get my popsicle <laughs> i might just go get one potentially currently taking italian lessons that's fun i do not currently have a p.o box unfortunately in the new in the near future potentially Mm -mm -mm -mm. I woke up so early today, so I'm like kind of tired. <laughs> I almost took a nap earlier. I was that tired. I was like, I'm actually gonna go take a nap 
and I don't really take naps, but I, I push through it. I push through it. I woke up at like 7... 50. So like 8. Everybody's like, Raven, that's a completely normal time to wake up. Meanwhile, I'm like, I'm so tired. <laughs> but my sleeping schedule has been better. It's been better. I used to be the person who would wake up at noon every single day, but I've been waking up at like 10. So, you know, it's improving. I'm doing good. Does Quack know about the cookie yet? He does not. He does not. <laughs> Did I hear P.O. Box? I was just saying that I will potentially have one in the future. That's it. <laughs> Would you share on Instagram what popsicle you end up getting? Sure. If I get one. If I get one. Okay, but relatable. I'm not a morning person either. Work has pushed me to wake up earlier. Because I would wake up at noon too. Yeah. Yep. And Fangler, thank you so much for the super chat. Is kazoo the hardest instrument to learn? Um, I don't think so. I don't know what, what the learning curve is for kazoo playing. <laughs> Not quite sure, sorry. Okay, where's the yachts? Let's get that going first. This is gonna be really cute. It's gonna be really cute. Did I not- I didn't make it green! <laughs> okay. Well, for the sake of time, I'm gonna leave it this color for now, but we're definitely changing this at some point. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna keep it that color. <laughs> I would like some more barrels, actually. You know what? Okay, okay. I'm all, I, I gotta focus. We gotta focus. What are we doing first? Let's do the barrels by the yacht. Let's do it. I only have one barrel, right? I don't know why I'm saying two. No, we have two. We have two. Love the bread tag on the boat. Thank you. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I know I was going to say something and it was going to be funny and everyone was going to laugh. I can't remember. Ugh, it's so unfortunate. We missed out on an amazing joke that, w that was definitely going to be told. For sure, for sure. For sure. Okay. Something like that, right? And I kind of want to do the fish on the secret beach. Like we can have like a like a mini fishing spot. <laughs> Had a brain fart? Yeah, pretty much. Gotta go to the grocery store. Have a good rest of your stream. Have a good grocery haul or shop or whatever. Have fun at the grocery store. I actually really enjoy grocery shopping for some reason. I think it's fun. Peach, Peach is digging on my furniture again. I don't know why she does that. Um, And I don't know why like we don't stay hydrated. You know what I mean? Like, Why don't we just do a hydration check before I run out of time? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do a hydration check if you just joined recently or you don't know how to do it or what to do let me tell you we are gonna grab our drink of choice i've got some water nice and icy cold we're gonna wait for the timer to hit 30 seconds once the timer hits 30 seconds we take a sip together and it's cute and we're all hydrating together and we gotta stay hydrated because we're frogs and frogs okay anyway let's take a sip <laughs> i started started about to go off um on how frogs should be hydrated. That was going to be a long-winded rant. Anyways. Cursed craving hot dog water popsicle. That has to be it. That has to be it. That's too cursed. <laughs> ah, That was really nice, actually. Like, I feel the cold water, like, going down my throat. It was actually really nice. Have I gone thrifting lately? Emma, I have not... I haven't- I just like have not really had that much time for some reason, um, but I really want to. I was craving doing it this weekend, but I ran out of time. <laughs> um, I actually went regular shopping with one of my friends instead of thrifting. It was a- it was a different experience for sure. For the PJ merch, bread tag PJs? Oh, we definitely have to sneak in a bread tag somewhere, you know what I mean? 
Definitely, definitely. Um, okay, so I'm gonna grab... No, I'm gonna put a little storage shed here just for convenience. Okay. Bye, Amanda. I'll catch you later. Okay. Do, do, do. Uh, Silver Surfer, I think I read your super chat. I can't recall. If you want to just type it back in the chat, I will confirm if I did read it. I, because I, I just totally forgot. <laughs> Um, okay, let's go. Let's grab some fencing. I don't know which one to use. I guess this iron fencing is good for now. Why do I have the urge to throw a boot on the floor? I don't know. Apparently, um, ten changelos, ta tangelos. I'm probably butchering this. Are common in Florida. Um, they are tangerine and pomelo hybrid. I had no idea they even existed. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I probably just totally said that in the most incorrect way possible. <laughs> okay, so fishing thingy. We got the fishing thingy. We got the fencing. Um, we can grab this guy. I don't know what else. I need to like restock on items pretty much. Oh, popsicles. <laughs> um, I kind of like this bottle crate. And this barrel thingy. Oh, wheat fields. Oh, some boxes. All right. Stuff. We have stuff. Any suggestions of what to draw? Draw a frog riding on a bread tag. Like a, um, like a skateboard. <laughs> like a skateboard. Fencing, fencing, fencing. Bread tag hat? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I hope for Florida Island we do get bread tags as our native fruit. I hope so. <laughs> uh, 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 that's too far. Pick it up. Yes, the, the porch. Yes, Silver Surfer, the porch. I did see your porch super chat. I want to make a porch. That's a fantastic idea. I said that it was um it was gonna be very farm core. That's a very farm core idea. So ten out of ten. And Garriant, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hello and good evening from North Wales. Hello and good evening to you too. It is just about evening for me. Five. Red tags is native fruit for Florida core. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, barrel. We can we can put the other barrel here. Um, let's put it on this corner. Red tag land. <laughs> Imagine a bread tag themed island. I don't know if I would have the strength to do that, but that would be something for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we should have a little chair and we can put the fishing stuff here. Let's put a puddle down first, of course, of course. Do this. That's good enough, I guess. Put one on the other side. What time does the stream end? We will start wrapping up in about seven to ten minutes here. Pretty much. Yes, oranges for the Florida theme are, are a must for sure. That's why leapfrog would kind of work if I want to flatten it. Because I'm pretty sure leapfrog's native fruit is oranges. I think. Or I'm just totally misremembering and I just don't even know my own island. Imagine. Imagine. Okay, where's the other fish thingy? Fish container. It's literally right here. Okay. That's so cute with the little scallops. Okay. Then we turn this one. 
Can we please get a hot dog water snow globe? I need a moment to, to, to recover from the idea of that existing in the world. Okay, is it like... Is the water... Hot dog water inside of the snow globe? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That's so cursed. I think that's one of the most cursed things I've heard today. Potentially this week. Potentially this week. Oh my goodness. There needs to be hot dog water merch at least. Like an enamel pin or something. <laughs> an enamel pin that says stay hydrated and it's like a cup. Like sloshing water out of it. But inside of it is just like a hot dog. Like just like the hot dog wiener. <laughs> that would be something. Oh, okay, it is oranges. I'm I'm glad that you remember Afterglow when I cannot. <laughs> Thank you for being my brain cells. Oh my goodness. Not the hot dog water snow globe. Not the snow globe. It would be oddly sweet and tangy. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, let me get like a little stool or a little chair or something to put on that secret beach. <laughs> I have like no stools. Okay. Um, you know what would be cute? Do I have any palm trees? We can chop down a palm tree and use like this the stump as the stool. I think that would be really cute. Hello, let me pass. Thank you. And uh, if I use leapfrog for the Florida island, it would also work because Tangy is already there, so I wouldn't have to hunt for her. Although, I do love villager hunting so much, you know. I would be sad that I would miss out on one extra hunt, but it would be okay. It'd be okay. Okay, we do have some palm trees, besties. Um, and I didn't bring a fruit. Okay, steal this really quickly. Eat. Okay. Gotta scoop this, gotta scoop this. Would you overwrite the leapfrog DA with the Florida one? See, that's the thing I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to remake it. I don't, or I wouldn't want to overwrite it. So I don't know. That's the only drawback, right? Because I think if you save it over, it would get erased, right? I think, or maybe not. I don't know. There's a chance that we could still preserve it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Can we put this here, please? No. <laughs> Come on. I don't think- I actually don't think you could put a palm tree here, and I think I actually just did that all for nothing. Fun fact. Oh! Okay. Okay, we have one. Uh, I don't have a sharp axe. One moment. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, how do I just upgrade this one again? Why am I in custom designs? No! DIYs, please. Do I not even have the- Do I not even have the upgraded axe DIY because I literally just always buy them from Nooks? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where is the Mario pipe when you need it? Am I right? You're making me want popsicles? I think we should all go get a popsicle after this. Um, I might just steal this very quickly. Hot dog water lava lamp. Ooh, but instead of like the lava, like it still has the clear liquid, but instead of the lava, it, l lava. instead of the lava, it's just little pieces of um, hot dogs. Yummy. That is gross. Okay, 
chop down this tree quickly. I can't even chop down a tree on my first try. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not exactly the placement that I wanted, but it works. We will just turn the fishing pole. Actually, that's really cute. I like that. Okay. And then, hear me out. Um, we drop a tool here. I'll just get rid of the flimsy axe. So it's like the little tackle box for fishing. I think that's really cute. Okay. Amiyogi, thank you so much for being a member for 12 months. <laughs> I come back after a few months and we still talking about hot dog water. Nice. Did you really expect us not to? <laughs> I think hot dog water will be forever, forever spoken about. Um, whether unfortunately or fortunately, whatever, whatever you want to think about. Um, okay, so that's pretty good so far. We have the gazebo. <clears throat> we have a bottle crate, a skeleton, a wheat field. Oh, let's do the wheat field. Let's see. Um, I'll just finish up this little spot, like the spot by the incline, and then I'll probably skedaddle. I think I have one more wheat field over there. Do, do, do somewhere. I think I dropped one earlier. Yes, wheat field and another wheat field. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. My pockets are full. I love it so much. Definitely not screaming on the inside. <laughs> screaming like I did when the water hit me in the f when the shower sprayed me in the face. <laughs> okay. I want to try to put a tree here. One million subs. Hot dog water jello. I, you know what? I would do it. At a million subs, I would I would do hot dog water jello. I would. I would. Okay. I kind of want that to be a teensy bit bigger. Hmm. Can I put it forward one more? It's not what I wanted to do, bestie. Okay. I guess not. You know what? No, I think you can. I think you can. Get rid of this. Okay. Never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> I stand corrected. Hot dog juice for sale. Hot dog water cereal. Oh my goodness. You know, I did not mean to... Oh, dang it. Dang it, dang it. No. We don't have time for this. I guess it's gonna have to stay. And it'll block a little bit of the fishing spot. If you're over here, you can't see the, the crates, the fishing crates, but it's fine. If you come over here, you can see it. Whatever. Fine. You win, tree. Because I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Let's do some of these wheat fields. I am going to hide this creepy skeleton. <laughs> over here. It's going to be like an easter egg. You can't really see it unless you look hard enough. Oh my goodness. How did it get there? We don't know. We don't know. Um, Maybe Violet had something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the whole time I thought y'all meant the hot dog water from boiling the hot dogs, but you mean the raw hot dog juice from the bag. Yeah, because unfortunately, that's what I drank <laughs> for a charity stream. That's what I drank. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I I never thought of that. Like, the 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 water from, from boiling the hot dogs. Like, that never clicked in my head that that's what maybe people were talking about. And in my mind, I was like, oh, yeah, like the juice from the packet. I don't know why I thought that's what we were talking about. <laughs> but that's just what I assumed, unfortunately. What is my favorite merch that I have made? I would say definitely the coloring book. The coloring book is just so special. <laughs> uh, let's do... Uh, actually, I'm, I'm feeling a white mum. 
Oh my goodness, for the snow globe, you know what we could do? It could be the hot dog water snow globe and we could have little bits of confetti or like, yeah, confetti. And they're shaped like little tiny bread tags, like little tiny bread tag confetti. It's a fantastic idea, okay? It's a fantastic idea. <laughs> Didn't get to get the coloring book. Oh, that's okay. They're back in stock now if you still wanted to grab one. Um, they did come back in stock. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of fencing back here. And let's do one right there. Bean Dip, thank you so much for becoming a Tadpole member. Welcome to the pond. Thanks for splashing and so glad to have you. The fact that you're even considering this hot dog water snow globe is a crime in itself, Raven. Listen, I gotta give the people what they want, you know? You guys ask for... For... <laughs> for... I'm already blanking. Hot dog water snow globe? I give you hot dog water snow globe, okay? <laughs> I'm just trying to... Trying to give the people what they want. Um, Can we fit this back there? I don't know what else to put back there. Oh, I brought a little crate. Can we... What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can we fit a windmill? You know I'm a sucker for windmills and wheat fields on this island. Let's see. Listen, I said a hot dog water enamel pin, but this is extreme. <laughs> hot dog water popsicle. Yum. <laughs> You've got to give the people what they want. Exactly. Exactly. I'm a people pleaser, okay? Okay. Let's shove a windmill. Oh, yes shove the windmill i am stuck okay hold on windmill am i gonna customize my house yes eventually whenever i start working on my house that's gonna be like its own build so i'm not gonna worry about it worry about it right now i was just trying to move it so we could have like a a spot where it's gonna be um, okay, I think that's good. It's kind of blocked by this tree, but I am going to move that tree eventually. So, it'll be fine. Bread tag ice cube tray. You know, I think actually someone sent me a concept of that. Like, they made a whole mock-up of a bread, a bread tag ice cube tray. So, who knows? That might actually come to the merch shop. <laughs> Uh, where is the little box? That's a lighthouse. Oh, I forgot about the lighthouse. Oh. What's on this? Crops. Okay. This can go right here. Okay. Um, what else? What else would you need? these bad boys and a little birdie little birdies over here enjoying life enjoying life to the fullest i think you know what i want to fill the rest of this in with wheat fields so i think i'm just going to order the mario pipe and the wheat fields and then we'll probably be done for today. I have gone over just a little bit and I am hungry. I'm gonna have my frozen pizza. I finally found a frozen pizza with pineapple on it. I feel like it's so hard to find those. So I finally, finally found it. So I get to have my pineapple pizza. Uh, do you think you'll be starting an island within the next few months? Or are you taking a break when you finish the island? I Within the next few months, I think so, yeah. Because this island is so close to being done, honestly. So close. Okay. I'll order like two... No, I'll just order three. The rest of those. Okay. But I'll finish that up on my own time because I gotta go eat my pizza. So that's gonna be it for today. We have made significant progress. <laughs> progress, sorry. Even though I uh, was very slow this stream, but I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. We were able to clear up a lot of the flowers, which is a super annoying task. Um, would you say what, this is one of your easier islands? You know, I think so. Just because I was able to use a lot of like 
the gazebos, the storefronts, windmills, like a lot of like that kind of stuff that I feel like I couldn't really incorporate in Leapfrog. So yeah, we got a lot done. We moved my house. We started this little section. So this is going to be so cute once it's all finished. We did the secret beach. We terraformed a little bit. A little slow progress, but progress. So anyway, thank you guys once again. I will catch you tomorrow for a Squishmallow unboxing video. Very exciting one. Um, but yeah, with that, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!